Over 3 million people were affected by the catastrophic earthquake that took place in Haiti on Tuesday, January 12, 2010. And of those 3 million, hundreds and thousands of them are now orphaned Haitian children. Soon after the earthquake, Howard University students Victoria Fortune and Isoki Davis traveled to Haiti in an effort to help. Finally got to the orphanage. Um, I was really surprised to see their reaction to the new toys and the new shoes. They were very numb. They didn't react to it at all. I mean, it was almost like, you know, they didn't really care that we were there helping them. And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's because, you know, because of their circumstances, and that kind of surprised me. That hurt me more than anything, because when a, when a child gets new toys or new shoes, they're usually excited about it. So it kind of surprised me to see them so numb. Um, I would describe the orphans um, or the children at the orphanage as resilient. Like, they have been through a lot. Like, a lot of them had lost their parents. And it wasn't as if, like, they just had never known their parents. It was, if, it was like they were sent to the orphanage after the um, earthquake. They're, these children are six or seven, so they know how life is prior, you know, like, before the earthquake. So the fact that they were just so joyous and just, like, just happy with like little things small things playing games with each other and so um not complaining things like that like they just were very resilient is the word that i want to say the marie mary orphanage located just outside port-au-prince haiti is home to about 30 orphans <laughs> Unlike many other orphanages in Haiti, every child at the Marie Marie Orphanage has their own bed, clothing, and hot meal every day. The children do not think that being an orphan causes a disadvantage. Many believe that they are lucky to be here. After the earthquake, I normally live to change because I'm in a young person who died, who died, who died, who died, who died. Et moi, c'est tout, si c'est pas à cause de ma mère Albert, je suis passé comme ça tout, qui était pour moi depuis avant. Et ça fait, je me sens que je vais me changer pour moi, je ne vais pas me faire un passé. Oui, je me sens que je ne vais pas me faire un passé. Je me sens que je ne vais pas me faire un passé. Je me sens que je ne vais pas me faire un passé. Mais quand même, je connais le bon Dieu. Ça, le bon Dieu, vous voulez être obligé de faire. Comme si sous ça passe comme ça, c'est bon dit C'est ça qui fait ma plus bas tête mon problème. The Marie Mary Orphanage is owned and run by Mr. and Mrs. Serge Bezalius. The government does not fund the orphanage, so the couple must come out of pocket to support the children. We keep the kids from two months to 20, 20 years. We take the kids everywhere. We take them, we take them de la salle to, to the beach. We take them to the mountain. Anytime, we, we always do something with the kids. And the kids, have, we want the kids to become something big in life. Okay. They become, we want them to become men. Many Haitians agree with the orphans at Marie Marais. It's not so hard uh, to um, grow up in, a, in the orphans because so many people they got good heart. So many of them they don't have any good heart. If you whatever, you, if you lucky, you find the good one. That's okay. But if you lucky, if you don't, if you don't lucky, you find the the uh, the bad one, and it's gonna be so hard. Several factors such as the AIDS epidemic, economy, and the earthquake influence the rapidly growing rate of orphans in Haiti. The children of Marie Marais Orphanage are some of the lucky ones.